All right, uh, going through the skin. All I'm of sure his co-workers fine. were gone. What could it mean? Everything's fine. Stanley we're not decided dead. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, missed a memo. Yep, sure. We did. We definitely missed a memo. We're not dead on the sidewalk. We're not. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yes, I did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go Chris. up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Chris. No, Chris. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Uh, I like the pale blue. Oh, whoa, this is nice. This is the same building? This is beautiful. Look at this woodwork. Look at that, look at that wallpaper. Oh, it's glorious. It's glorious. Oh, these chairs aren't so glorious, but they match. Where is that? Executive bathroom. Sure. What? Fine. This door is so out of place. Okay. Um, hmm. Turn this on? The receptionist is gone. I guess I can go see the boss then. Uh, gosh. Oh, now this is a leather chair. Mm. Yes. Ugh, okay. I'm just gonna soak up this room. Okay, the ceiling isn't that great. Oh, this is Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But there's books. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? But books. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. How are you knowing Two, this? Eight. Four, five. How do you know this? But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yeah. Fuck, can we just read books and, like, relax? Look at all these books. We, we could read forever. Until we starved to death. Let's look at his knickers. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. No, I'm not. I'm Trying looking at things. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. There's a cat! Someone was in the Marines or in the Army. That's his family. Two, eight, four, five. I get it! Nice. Wait, is that alcohol? This is the nicest office I've ever seen. <sighs> Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in. What? And the door just opened all by itself. I was and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. I was about to do it. You. You are. You have no patience. Just a freaking voice in my head. None. Link plus. Okay, let's, let's go, I guess. Which way? To the darkness. I I can't. No. Wait. Nope. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Everything's fine. What? Get that off the screen. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do do do. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Really, it I do. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. All right, good. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. Elevator this give question you a lot of time would not go unanswered for long. 
<laughs> Fuck you. Okay. I happen to know that it was the elevator that did this. I got a lot of thinking done back when Mass Effect had elevators. That's all you could really do. Oh, those elevators. Okay. <laughs> Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Um, can we not? I don't have a choice. Wait, can I go back and, like, screw you again? Eh. Eh. Fine. Goddamn. Ooh! Cool! I'll never when learn! This passageway had the word escape written on it. The truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? What? But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Do I? I don't. Nope. Still on board with death? Bring it on. Bring it on, I have no wife. I have no children. I have no the life. The behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Fuck you! At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward. Yeah. And willingly confront his death. Yes. I think we got it. Uh, well, here we go. Quit getting in there. Uh oh, dear God. Am I dead? This is hell. Um. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh my God! That his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. No. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Please no. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. No. So he resigned. No. Did this violent end to his brief and shallow life? Oh, scream! No. Stanley. Maybe it won't freak me to death. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Huh? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. No. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I really am in hell. Just a looping when hell. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? I... I was in hell. I was. This whole time. Oh, it's so bright. It's blinding. I... How did you turn back on? What? Oh, God. Oh, God, everything.
Wait, what's over there? Mm-hmm. Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of freedom ending. Games alpha. Wait, I'm looking at like secret stuff? I don't want to look at secret stuff. I want to experience that stuff. Where am I anything? Where's anything? Should I just hit start? Go back to the beginning of everything? <sighs> what? The first was created November 11th on the sign of March. From the left is the evolution. Let's see, it doesn't change at all, does it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it actually- it did! A little. I- <laughs> I- I'm lost without the voice in my head. I'm lost. Everything. I can't. I can't handle it. Hey, it's the phone. What? The apartment timer. Previous version of the choice leading to the apartment and the timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone. We do a different ending. Well. Ugh. I think I still have more endings to go. Maybe Stanley can finally rest in peace. Yeah. That'd be nice. 